Hey guys, it's Emily and today's video I'm going to be taking you guys thrifting with me um, Yeah, this is like my first time like actually thrifting in Colorado I have today I actually have like a list of things that I'm looking for Because I'm trying to stop like just going in with no game plan and just buying a bunch of stuff that I don't in don't even end up keeping so I actually have like a list and little thing I made a thing on Depop of like inspiration and then I made one on Pinterest so I'll try to show it somewhere here um, and then I have a few other little miscellaneous things that I made a list of we are gonna go into the first thrift store I think there's like three or four we're gonna try to hit so yeah Okay guys, so we just got our Dutchie Bros. There you go. I always get the Golden Eagle. What do you get? I just get whatever random drink. What did you get? Tiger's Blood Tea. Is it good? It's not the best drink I've ever had from there, but I mean, it, it's better than water. Why are you vlogging me? To show the behind the scenes. I'm gonna try it. You're not gonna like it. You should have tried the other. Uh, uh, not good. Tastes like a candle. This is really good. Okay, but mine, I think it's like, um, it's just iced coffee, but it's like caramel in it or something. It's like caramel drizzle in it. I don't know if you can see it, but this is my favorite thing.
Okay guys, we are back home and now I'm going to do a little haul for you guys to show you guys what I got. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start with the first store that we went to, which was an ARC store. I would say it's comparable to Goodwill. Pr this specific store's prices were a little too much. I saw a bunch of stuff that was like super overpriced. So it was alright. It wasn't the best. I will say that I spent way too much money on this little haul from this specific store. But I wouldn't, I would compare it to Goodwill. I wouldn't really call Goodwill a thrift store. Thrift stores are like, you know, church owned type. That's what I think of when I think of like a thrift store. I think of like a church owned. I consider thrift stores like where a lot of their prices are under $10. And I saw, first of all, I got some uh, movies, so I want to start collecting um, DVD, horror DVDs now because as you guys know I have a collection of VHS, but I want to start um, collecting DVDs, actual DVDs I can actually watch them. So I got Paranormal Activity, now these were also really expensive, these were $2.99. I believe that Goodwill's prices are a little bit cheaper than this, so yeah. I got Paranormal Activity and Kill Bill, and then I got this movie called The City Here, and if you haven't watched this, it's, it's a religious movie, but it's a really weird, creepy movie. Yeah, I mean, my grandma used to watch it with my sister, and so I just had to get it, but it is a really weird movie, um, even though it is religious. Next thing, I found this really cool wallet. Now, I did pay $4.99 for this, and I know it's kind of like why would you pay that much for that wallet but i want to say i don't know who this is by it says andy something I'm, i don't know if it says andy warhol but it looks like that it's really really cool it's this like grunge um vibe that i'm going for and actually i've been wanting like a bigger wallet so yeah i found this one again it's overpriced but i really liked it i also found this little uh strawberry wallet and it looks like that um i got this one for my best friend because she loves strawberries so i had to get it um it's super cute it's just like a little coin purse pretty much and this was $1.99 as well like okay whatever and then i found this super cute knit beanie thingy um this was 5 dollars but i think it was half off i hope that it was half off because i would not pay 5 dollars for this that is this um again with the like fairy grunge vibes um and then i also got this nightgown thingy which was 4 dollars again a little too much but it was super super cute so i had to get it i don't know if i'll keep this or end up um, putting it up on depop but that is that and then these were my favorite purchase from there and i don't know why they were so cheap they were literally 2.99 but these are so freaking cute i don't have any white heel type shoes like this um and i didn't try them on so i don't even know if they fit me but let me see i think they will fit me they're six and a half yeah so <laughs> they are so Cute. They're kind of like doll shoes, I feel like. I don't know. But again, they were only $2.99, so I had to pick them up. That is what they look like. And that is all that I got from that store. So again, very overpriced. Not one of my favorites. Um, their selection was alright. I feel like it was more like middle-aged woman type clothing there. And usually I can find stuff in that type of clothing, that type of selection, but I just really didn't have too much luck there. Okay, so next we also went to Goodwill. Again, this one was kind of a miss. It wasn't really hit. Uh, again, the selection was kind of weird. It was almost like a boutique boutique type of Goodwill. It just had a bunch of like middle-aged woman stuff, although I did find a cute couple of cute pieces so I did kind of score here um first piece that I found I was so excited about this little slip 
shirt and it looks like this. It's very like Courtney Love vibes. So, um, and this was only $2.99, so I was like really excited about this. Um, I love the black and then white lace on it. I don't really have anything like this and it's super cute. This, oh my gosh, so amazing. I found this hot pink cheetah print like waist trainer. It's like an actual corset type thing. So I don't know, but I thought somebody might be able to wear it like over shirts and stuff. I thought it was like super cute and like alternative so yeah but it's like a legit waist trainer but i might end up selling this on my depop um and this was only 3.99 but like it's just such a good piece like how did i even find this there i don't even know the last thing that i found was this really cute green sweater which i have been looking for something similar to this so it just looks like that again with the fairy grunge vibes that I've been going for lately. So it just looks like this. Um, I've seen similar ones on like Depop, Depop or Pinterest, one of those. And I had kind of been wanting a green sweater like this. So yeah, I'll probably end up keeping that one. I do have another green sweater that looks very similar. So I might end up selling that one on my Depop. But yeah. And that is all that I found there. Um, prices were okay. Typical Goodwill prices. So, yeah. So the last store that we went to was another ARC. And that one is my favorite one yet. It's super cheap. It's a lot cheaper than the other one that we went to. The first one that we went to. And also, um, they just have better selection. So, I found a bunch of stuff there. And... Again, I paid a little, not too much, uh, but a little bit more than I anticipated. So, yeah, but this is the haul from there. Um, so I'm just going to get some random stuff out. First, I found this wig stand. It's like brand new wig stand, and it was only 99 cents. And I was like, should I take this? I don't know. I have been wanting one. And I already have like a mannequin head, but I thought that I would just get this just in case I ever need to wash a wig and also it's like be easily stored. So I just went ahead and got it. It just looks like this. You could actually get these on like Amazon, I believe, or like AliExpress for really cheap. Um, yeah, but I have been wanting one and this one's really nice because it's metal and usually they're plastic. So yeah. Next, I found some movies. Uh, first of all, I found Edward Scissorhands in Blu-ray. This was $4.99. Again, a little bit expensive for a movie, but like if I were to buy this on, you know, eBay or something, I feel like it'd be the same price, but you have to pay for shipping. So I went and got it. I think I already have this actually, so I might keep this one and give the other one to my sister, um, but yeah, it's kind of expensive. And then I found this uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Massacre um, DVD thing, and it's kind of cool. Um, it's missing one of the discs, but it looks like this. See, it's missing this disc, and it's missing, I guess, the little paper that went in it, but um, I really just needed the actual movie, so I thought it was like really cool. And there was another one, but it was just in a plastic case. And I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna spend $2.99, I might as well get the like cool cased one. So yeah, I went ahead and got that one. Next, I found this super cute little plushy backpack, and it's actually a little cow. I was like, oh my god, this is so stinking cute. It needs to be washed. <laughs> um but yeah, it's really, really cute. I have a teddy bear one, and I don't know. I might end up keeping this one. Who knows? I might sell it. This was $3.99, so it was all right price. Um, I also found a white beanie. This was $2.99, but I've been wanting a white beanie, so I'm glad I found this. That was one of the things like I actually needed, so yeah. And then I also found this adorable like snow hat and it's hot pink it's so stinking cute i'm probably going to end up 
selling this on my depop it was 2 dollars but it's like so cute and rare and just like alternative but also like snow ski vibes i know like winter is already almost over but it's just like so stinking cute i couldn't pass it up and it was only 2 dollars so i had to take it next i just got this brown pair of like knee high socks i guess they're just brown socks i've had an obsession with socks lately i don't know why just like printed socks colored socks all kinds of socks i don't know i i, I don't even wear half of them but yeah next i just got these pair of pants i don't even know if they fit me they're kind of look a little big but who knows they were only 4.99 um they are these green and black pinstriped pants and i thought that they would be really cool for like alternative looks and stuff like that like gothy looks runs looks who knows i don't know they were cute if they don't fit me i'll end up selling them on my depop i got this really cool shirt again a little bit pricey i spent 6.99 on it but um it just looks like this these shirts are like super trendy right now and i just thought it was kind of gothy grunge vibes so i went ahead and picked it up and don't know if i'll keep this um if i don't it'll be on my depop i also got this little uh cardigan and i've been wanting like a similar cardigan to this one i've been looking for it everywhere it's internet girl sold it and um it was like a vintage piece but we were trying to find one similar i feel like this is really cute it's not that similar but i feel like this one's really cute and i've just been wanting like a black cardigan so i found that and then oh my god these pants are insane okay so i found these like ski pants and i think they're actually like little girl pants yeah but they look like this and they're ski pants or snow pants I've been needing some snow pants um, to go hiking and stuff. Um, and I found these and these were $3.99 because they were little girls pants. So they just look like this and who knows, I might sell these at some point. I don't know, I, I might keep them, I, I don't know. But I thought they were so cute, like I couldn't pass them up. And then I also found this camera. Which I cannot believe I found. It was $1.99. And okay, so weird story about this. I was looking at the uh, shirts and I was just like sifting through the shirts. And then I saw this like hanging on a shirt and I thought it was like a part of the shirt, but it was like by itself. And it's like brand new, it hasn't been open, I don't think. I don't know. So it is a 35mm camera. And I've been wanting a camera, and it was only $1.99. Like, I cannot believe that it was $1.99. And it's so cute and aesthetically pleasing. Uh, focus free camera manual. So, yeah, it just looks like that. And it's like super cute. It's like that 90s see through type of aesthetic. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like, that aesthetic in the 90s when like, they would make like phones and the IMAX like see-through i don't know i thought it was super cool and i like freaked out when i saw it because i've been wanting a film camera forever now and i've been looking everywhere and they're so expensive so yeah so the last thing i found oh my gosh this is so sticking cute i found this like jewelry makeup box thing and it was only 5.99 which is like a really good price and it is pretty clean inside so yeah i'm going to clean this out a little bit and i'm probably going to put jewelry in it more than likely but i'm not sure i thought it would look cute with a bunch of like stickers on it i don't know you guys let me know if i should put stickers on it or if i should just keep it this way um i kind of want to keep it this way but again i don't want to put stickers on it so I don't know, I don't know. It, was, it wasn't exactly what I was expecting and I didn't really find much that I was actually looking for and I know that I said at the beginning of the vlog type thing I, I was trying not to just buy stuff but a lot of the stuff I'm actually going to use and 
or either sell on my Depop. So if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, be sure to follow my Depop. You guys so I actually this is the next day and I'm actually gonna do another little haul because we went to another thrift store so yeah I'm also gonna show you guys two packages that came in the mail because like why not okay so first of all I got a package from 33 vintage if you don't know who they are well I'm sorry <laughs> So this little card it came in this package and then it also came with their two stickers which are super cute they're like holographic and they have these original designs of theirs and then so I got a necklace and and this little bag it says angel number 33 <gasps> They what? sent me both of them. What happened? They sent me both of the necklaces. I only ordered one of them, but they sent me both of them. Okay, so the first necklace. I don't even know if you guys can see. This is the necklace that I ordered because they came out with two necklaces, which were both cute, but <laughs> you girls broke, so I could only buy one. But it looks like this. It's so cute. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but I will show you guys a close-up of it. And then it also, or they also gave me the cross one, which they came out with two designs. And they're like both original designs. And so this one looks like this. It's a cross. It has like the number three all over it these are so cute i cannot wait to wear these oh my god 33 vintage if you're watching shout out to you i can't oh my god that was so nice of them okay so yeah if you guys are interested in like supporting a small business like definitely go check these check their shop out i will leave their stuff in the description and um, yeah, I'll leave where you can get these in the description because they are so cute. These angel wings, I can't get over. So yeah, that's what I got from them. And then, oh my god, you guys, I'm so excited about this package. Okay, so the next package is here. I'm excited. You guys. This is what it looks like. Oh my god, I'm so excited. My god, you guys, I finally got my hands on a pair of these Demonia 100 shakers, I think that's what they're called. Anyways, these shoes literally sell out in seconds, like when they get restocked, they sell out so quickly and people resell these for like way overpriced on Depop. 
So I finally got myself a pair of them and I'm so excited to wear them and style them. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the haul of the stuff that I got today. I went to another ARC thrift store and this one was really, really good. I think this was the best one out of all of them. Um, or at least a close tie with one of the ones that I went to yesterday. Here is the haul and then I have, have two big bags. Um, I'm actually going to start off with this stuff in this bag because it's not that much. So I found this super cute little um, light pink. I've been obsessed with this color and I literally have been getting so many things in this color. Dollar Tree has had a lot of stuff in this pink color. Anyways, this was 99 cents. So Easter basket, I thought I would do like maybe an, a shoot for Easter with this. I thought it was cute. Maybe I can also reuse it for something. For something, I have a really bad habit of buying like baskets, like woven baskets, and then I have a bunch of them and don't know what to do with them. So yeah, this next thing. Oh my god! I cannot believe I found this. I'm so excited about this. I found this super cute pink Hello Kitty. It's like an Easter basket, but like, oh my god. It's a freaking bunny. I cannot get over this. Like, it's so cute. It's furry. And it was $1.99. So, you know I had to get it. I don't know what I'm going to use this for either. But I thought it would be cute to, like, have in my room. Either, like, when it's not even Easter. Because it's just so cute. So, and the other thing, the last thing in this bag. You guys, these boots are so cute. I don't have any dark brown boots. So I found these boots. Um, I had actually, funny story, I went to look at the, the shoes and there was no shoes. I didn't find any shoes. And then I was like, just like walking around the store and then I looked over and I saw these pair of boots from like the corner of my eye and I've been like wanting some dark brown boots. So I found these and they were in the like eight, nine, size section and I was like there's no way those are like eight or nine they were literally six and a half which is like literally my size and I saw that they were $12.99 and I was like eh should I get them they're kind of expensive turns out the lady that it was ringing me up didn't even charge me for them so I basically got them for free so I'm so glad that I got them yeah um Okay, so now moving on into this bag, which is this clothes. Um, first of all, I'm gonna start with this. So I found this belt, it's actually 2X. I might end up selling this because this is such a cute belt and I didn't even see the size until now. I thought it would like maybe fit me, but I don't know. We will see, but anyways, it looks like this. It's a black belt and it has um, these cute butterflies on them. And it's like all silver detailing, so yeah, this might be up on my Depop soon if you guys are interested. I don't know, I might end up keeping it because it is a really cute belt. I will try to fix it somehow, but if not, yeah. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and just like grab stuff. I found this super cute vest. Now I have this, this thing where I also buy sweaters and I don't even wear half of them. I just don't really know how to style sweaters and then I feel like when you get a printed sweater you can only wear it like once. I don't know, that's just me I guess. And also I've been loving vests but I don't know how to style vest. but this one was just so cute like I couldn't pass it up. So I don't know if I'll end up keeping it, if not it'll be on my Depop but it was only $4.99. It's so cute, it's very that fairy vibe, also like 70s vibes which is really trendy right now so. Yeah, it just looks like that. If you guys know how to style a vest, please let me know because I literally, this is one of the hardest things I have styling, like sweaters and vests. Next, I found this skirt. Um, I actually found this like at the very last minute and it is like a, this is small, but it's kind of big. Anyways, um, I actually have like a very similar skirt to this on, but it's um, black. But anyways, I really love skirts like this. This kind of like prairie type skirt, western skirt is, they're also really trendy right now. 
So um, I don't have a white one. I don't know. I don't think I've ever had a white one. So I went ahead and picked this up. It was five ninety five ninety nine. I'm probably going to alter the waist so that it fits me. Next, I found this pair of pants, which is kind of like, I think they're actually little boys and I don't even know if they'll end up fitting me. They kind of look small, but it's kind of like a brownish, greenish color. And I've actually been wanting some pants this color um, because it fits that grunge berry vibe. So yeah, I picked these up. These were only, well, these are $6.99. Eh, a little eh for pants but yeah they just look like that so they're just straight leg jeans um hopefully they end up fitting me if not i'll probably return those so i also found this pair of pants and i know these are probably not gonna fit me because they're size six and we're like a zero but um i just cannot leave them because i will try to show you guys this picture of these pants i've been wanting to do like a tie-dye type Thing to like some white pants or something I don't know I want to do something with a pair of white pants but they were just like a really cute like cut so they just look like this and they're just kind of like wide straight legged pants I'm gonna see if I can try to alter these to fit me but yeah they just look like that they were kind of pricey $7.99 eh, whatever I also found this really cute brown shirt i actually have one very similar but it kind of fits me like not as fitted and i i don't know i just kind of wanted a fitted long sleeve brown shirt so i got this one i know this one's gonna fit me super well so if you guys are interested in any like um thermal type brown shirts i have one that will be going on my depops because i'm just gonna switch these out i also found this super cute tie-dye shirt it just looks like this. I really, really love this style of tie-dye. Like, very... It's almost pastel, but it's, it's also, like, uh, faded. But I really, really love this. And, again, this one is kind of pricey. $3.99. Eh. Next top I got is this one, which is really, really cute and vintage looking. I don't think it's actually vintage, but... Let me try to button this up so you guys can see the full effect of this shirt. This shirt was $4.99. And uh, I actually had kind of been looking for something like this. It's kind of that like Victorian, I don't really know how to explain it. Almost, I don't know, it could fit so many different like aesthetics, like Victorian, Western Prairie type vibe. I feel like it's maybe more Victorian era type. It looks like this, it's super cute. I'm maybe going to try to like fix it a little bit so that it's a little bit more it has a really cute heart on this side i know you guys cannot see that but anyways it just looks like that the very last thing that i got was this sweater which i cannot get over it's so cute i don't know if this is vintage because it has like a tag on it from some store where they were selling it for ten dollars but it was 6.99 um again here with here with this um this pink color it was just like so cute like i've never seen a sweater like this it's almost like a like varsity type sweater i don't know it's just so cute and i don't have any like pink clothing like this and i thought it would just look so good with so many things so i just picked this up yeah that is everything that i got today and actually this haul i don't know why I thought it was going to be a lot more than it was, but it, the total actually came out to like $30. I actually spent more money at the one yesterday, which was $50. And I was like, I don't, it just didn't make sense to me. So like I was saying, um, I think the lady didn't charge me for everything. So shout out to her <laughs> because it was a lot cheaper than I anticipated. And I was not trying to spend a lot of money, but I found a lot of cute things as you guys saw. Um, and I really wanted to get everything. So yeah, but I also did see a bunch of other cute things that I passed up on that thrift store was just like really good. They had a lot of good stuff. So I'm really hopeful about going there in the future. Yeah. And also yesterday at the other thrift store that I had a huge haul for, um, they had a lot of really cool stuff that I passed up on. I found these really cool 
like bands and then I also found um, some Air Forces that were really nice but they were $14.99 I just don't understand why uh, like thrift stores do that like they ch overcharge for name brand stuff like I get it's name brand but you're still at thrift store you got that stuff for free I don't know why you're like overcharging like if somebody wants to go buy that like if I want to pay $14.99 for a pair of um, used Air Forces. I'm literally going to go on Depop. I'm not going to spend that at a thrift store. I, I'd rather give that money to somebody who actually like needs it and I know where that money's going to. You know, like I'd rather it go to a person than a huge com company that literally bought them for free. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you guys for watching. Bye!